Uh, hi, what I'm showing here today is a bunch of quick applications of using Barrick devices in conjunction with a phone system and background music. What I'm doing here is I've got the Xtreamer 120 model. It's playing internet radio. So this is receiving this music you're hearing over the internet, okay? But what I'm doing then is I'm taking it and I'm plugging it into another barracks box. And this is an Anunsicom 60 actually running the in-streamer firmware on it. I'm using this as the encoder. So I have this box decoding the audio from the internet. This box then multicasting the audio across the network. So, and I'm doing that so that any box then you want to put anywhere on the network listening for that multicast, which right here I have the Xtreamer 200. And this has a 50 watt output, two, 225 watts to those speakers. Um, so this is listening for that multicast. And the significance of this then also too is I allow this box here is actually running my SIP firmware. And so I've connected it to these phones and my computer as well too. And what is the purpose for that? Well, why would you do that? Well, right now I've got the background music playing from, from the decoder into the encoder, sending it out on the network. And then that's in a lower priority than the SIP extension on this box. So real quickly, I can call the SIP extension. Hello, 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 hello. Page, page over the, top, over the top, of top of it. Hang up, okay. And then it will default back to that multicast stream of the internet radio, okay. And uh, further, once you've become a SIP extension now, I can do a lot with this. It allows me to route audio from many different points, okay. Like for instance, I'll show you that I'm going to use this PS1 as an intercom. And let's just say this is an intercom at a door or a gate or something. I can press this button and see it's going to call all the phones. This phone, the analog phone, my desktop. See, I've got a SIP client running on my desktop to call from there. And even here on my cell phone, okay? You see it's calling my cell phone. I've got a soft phone client running on there. Okay. So I pick up the phone. Hello, 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 hello. Let the person in, whatever, and hang up. But you can answer the call then from a computer, a cell phone, a desktop phone, an analog phone. Once you have a SIP connection, it allows you to bring everything together. Now I can also page from this SIP connection. See, I've set this button up now. And when I press and hold that, what I'm doing is I'm now talking through the phone. You can hear the audio coming out this phone and then also the speakers on the paging system, okay? So I hang that up and this call hangs up and then the music comes back on. See, this is really cool because it allows me then, for instance, to use my cell phone, okay? And I'm gonna call the paging extension. Hello, 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 hello. see here feedback because I'm coming across those speakers but then I could page through the system from a phone or a cell phone if I wanted to from a desktop phone from another station or from a computer even um, so there's a quick demonstration of all the applications I can do with the boxes